we have returned people and we are ready for the opening game of the season against Chesterfield away from home. My name is the Gaming Blake. Welcome back. Um, I looked over the views for the first video and it skyrocketed. I was not expecting it to go as well as it was. I was expecting maybe 10, 15 views. We ended up hitting 75 views and that is slowly still rising, which is fantastic for a first episode. I asked for five likes. We got 10 and people were commenting and it was great to see the comments as well. That really is the best bit. Thank you guys so much for the amazing feedback. I hope episode two is doing well. That is uploading now and that should be on at about 12 o'clock. Today when I'm recording it, yesterday, hopefully when you guys are getting it. So yeah, the, before we start this episode, I just wanted to say thank you. I hope you guys are enjoying this series. But also, what else do you want to see? I don't have to just play FIFA. I've got plenty of other games for you guys to play. Be sure to let me know what you want to see. But if anything you want to see on FIFA, such as Ultimate Team stuff, I'm more than happy to do that. But you need to let me know what you guys want to see so I know. And also, if we can drop another five likes on this video, another one will be uploaded very, very shortly. Anyway, let's carry on. This is the lineup I've gone with for the opening game of the season. Starting in goal is going to be Jordan Archer. It's a risk, but it's a risk I'm willing to take. He's been brilliant in preseason, and he's growing really well, actually. He's 63 rated, so let's hope he plays well. I'm going to start Joel Martin at left back, and hopefully he'll do something for us. Mark Beaver starts with our new signing, Riefel Schummer, who shouldn't be captain. But look, how tall is he? Six foot. Six foot two, yeah. So he's quite tall as well there. It's a solid centre back. Uh, who else we got? Right back, we have Edward starting there. Seeing out his last season here with us. Right to left in the midfield, Ryan Taylor, Ben Thompson, Sean Williams and Shane Ferguson complete a midfield four with Lee Gregory and our new signing, Naki Wells up front, competing in his first competitive game. Giving the captain's armband over to Mark Beavers as we quickly look at the bench. Ford is a backup option on the bench. We have Webster, Romeo, Oyedema, Upson, Morrison and O'Brien all ready to come on at any point. With a few reserves here, probably looking to start in the cup game that happens in the midweek. So I'm really, really looking forward to the start of playing some games with this team. I'm interested to see what we can do as a team. Where we can finish our objective, if you remember from episode one, is to gain automatic promotion. Let's see if Millwall can do that. Chesterfield versus Millwall, first game of the season, and it's live. First game of the season, and we are on the way. Let's do this, Millwall. Oh, that's a great start. Go on. Go on, Williams. He's won the ball from kicker. Well, here is the team sheet for the home side. Soft pass, but Naki well, Wells has got it somehow. Not, ben Thompson, come on. Way, yeah, come on, son. Popular system, four, two, Good pass, come on. Three, Naki one. Wells turns him, and shoots, shoots, and it's a and goal! Three minutes into his debut, and Naki Wells has produced the first goal of the season. Go celebrate to the camera, you've earned that. That's a fantastic that start to the season. Look at this. Ben Thompson getting the assist there with a nice pass inside. Naki Wells turns him and smacks it beautifully into the far the right-hand side of the goalkeeper. Stood no chance. What a finish from the debuter. That is Naki Wells. Wait, was it even Naki Wells? Is Naki Wells number 14? I, I'm not even sure. I'm pretty sure that was Naki Wells. I'm just going to look stupid now if that's not Naki Wells. I don't think that is Naki Wells. No, it is Naki Wells. Number 14, Naki Wells. What a start for him on his debut. Three minutes in. I was that not expecting that to happen. Honestly, here. we just tackled them straight from kickoff. Went on and scored straight away. What a start to the season. Little. Pardon me. These two have That's a charming, isn't it? That's just passing. what you want to hear over the mic. And they're on the attack while I'm Score! concentrating. Oh, bloody that? hell. That's what scores. happens when you're too busy burping and not watching the TV. A nice chance there on the volley. And they have not taken it. Oh, bloody hell. I'm going to have to put that burp in the fucking video now. Right, so at half time we took the lead very early on, but beside that, not much else has changed. But that was a really, really solid first half. I think we played really well as a squad and as a unit. We played well defensively. Naki Wells scoring in his first five minutes of his debut. I think he's played fantastically well. He's really pacey up there. Wasn't expecting him to be as fast as he was. We're going to make one change for now, and we're going to bring in. Upson into the middle of the park 
for Sean Williams and we're going to see how that goes and let's jump straight into the second half and let's see if we can seal the three points here. Come on, come on. Here's the cross. Got to get rid of that. Gardner. Oh, bloody it's hell. First shot on target. Really shouldn't have been a shot at all there. That's poor. Having spent around 65 million, I think they've invested in good potential in a player that can only get better for me. Oh, no. That's a good chance. And they've capitalised on the dominant possession they've had so far. A great finish, I've got to say. That's the first goal I think we've conceded in this career mode as well. And I'm gutted, actually, because... We've defended really well, and then this ball coming in over the top, which you should be seeing now. That's a great ball in. Great finish. Jordan Archer stood no chance. Really, Riefel Shammer there, I think, is the one who gets caught ball watching. Yeah, definitely gets the reacts to that ball in way too late, and that's not good. It would have been nice to have a clean sheet, and now we might not even win this game. Come on, Naki Wells, have you timed this right? Have we timed that right? I don't know, but Lee Gregory's going to shoot anyway. He's onside, but he hasn't scored. Can we get that still? No. Oh, that was a good chance. I rushed it a bit. Go on, Taylor, finish it. Oh, it's rolling. Oh, we'll get a corner from it at least. But that was a really good opportunity wasted there because I thought he was offside. Gutted. Side. One more. It's a lovely little pass for Naki Wells. Naki Wells through on goal to make it 2-1. No, he saves it, but it's rebounded by Lee Gregory. And he has scored the Mule top scorer. Has scored another goal, and that is the leading goal in this game. Lee Gregory on the rebound from Naki Wells, who took it on himself. Couldn't find the back Fantastic of the net, but Lee Gregory has oh, produced the finish, which is the most important goal. thing. Naki Wells, that was a great run inside, good strike. Keeper made a good initial save. And it has gone in on the rebound. On he it. kind of just passes it into the net there to make things look even better for himself. I've got a really sore throat today, bloody hell. Then I don't think the screaming's helping. But who cares when Lee Gregory is scoring and that is the first goal of League One. We that is the, the second goal of this game for us. I'm going to make some subs to make sure we solidify this. And that hopefully can see us out till the end of the game. Goes the cross. Bloody hell, good clearance. Probably should be parking the bus at this point. Instead, we're going to push for another goal. No. And now I'm going to pay for that. Oh, no! Jesus Christ. If they score and equalise again, I might genuinely cry. I've made all my subs now. I brought Morrison on for Gregory. And I also brought on... Um, who was the other one? I brought on... Oh, you Dima, I think. For no, Aiden O'Brien for Shane Ferguson. And here's Aiden O'Brien now. Come on. First touch of the ball. Come on. Oh, ref, that's a foul. Surely there was a foul there. Oh, I didn't really see it cleanly, but it looked like a foul to me. Uh, yeah, those are the subs I've made, so let's just hope they help. Oh, no. One last attack. The one last attack. We need to see out this attack. And this is three points for Millwall. That's keepers. That Come on, Archer. Just boot it up. Ref, blow the whistle. Steal the win. It's over. It's over, ref. Blow the whistle. The there it is. Jesus Christ. The referee was determined to give me a heart attack there, but we do get the first three points of the season away to Chesterfield. Um, it was a close game. I wasn't expecting it to be that close, but it was really difficult after that Naki Wells opening goal. And of course, it's important that he scored on his debut. He didn't score in the preseason tournament, but he did well there to score. And of course, Lee Gregory sealing the deal with the winner following their fantastic finish that equalised it late, um, early in the second half. And final score here at Millwall for the opening game of the season is two goals to one. Man of the match was awarded to Naki Wells. And to be honest, no surprise at all. He doesn't get the assist for the goal, but he was a part of every goal and he played fantastically up front. I think their keeper didn't really get much rating considering how well he played. But... Um, a decent all-around performance nonetheless. And Mill will take the first three points of the season. Right, so we've got a transfer offer here for Christian Malumbu, who's just a loan. E. It's a two-year loan to an Irish side, I think that is. 55 rated, so he's got no business being here. And that frees up another bit of wages. I've made one change to the training regime. I've taken um, off Sid Nelson and now took Romeo doing El Rondo. Any growth? I don't think there was any growth there, but I just wanted to let you guys know that change. And also, we are going to be inquiring about one of my favorite players in FIFA right now. I don't know how much money he's worth. I'd imagine he'd be worth a lot, but he is a fantastic player, and his name is Jordan Lukaku. He's been an absolute animal 
for me on FIFA on both Ultimate Team on online seasons. He is a Belgian beast, just like everybody is on but in the Belgian team, it seems. And yeah, I just had to inquire about him, especially when it looks like the Oviedo deal is not going to go through. So the offer has been declined for Dummett because he wants a bigger role in the squad. Now, what does Lukaku want? Lukaku wants, if I can just have a look, three, three and a half million. That I am willing to pay. However, can we talk two million? Is that too much to ask for? I think it might be. Uh, but just to be on the safe side, we are going to offer Dummett a crucial first team ro role. Still not certain on his rating, but I know he is a, a good, promising player there. Uh, but I really, I, if I can get the choice, I want Lukaku. All right, lads, so it is a cup game, so we will be playing the cup team. This is the lineup of the side of the go with Ford starts in goal, getting his first appearance for me in this career mode. I love Ford personally, but he has slipped in his old age. Webster starts at centre back with Sid Nelson. That's an interesting partnership there, I feel. Then we have Romeo at right back, who played really well in that first preseason game for us. And Chesmain starts at left back, who had a little bit of time in preseason, but a 49 rated. He's probably not going to be a starter, is he? Then we have Shane Ferguson not starting there. I didn't mean to put him into the squad. We're going to start with Aiden O'Brien at left midfield, and we are going to bring. Um, him in, why not? Because it's just a cup. Jack Powell and Upson start in the middle of the park with Fred Oyedema on the right, and then Morrison and Bill Pot starting up front there with Lee Gregory and Naki Wells as backup options. Obviously, as you can tell, cup is not my number one priority. It'd be nice to have a nice cup run going, but we'll see what happens in this first game against Bristol Rovers in the Capital One Cup, round one. Let's see what our bench can do and possibly consider moving them into the first team. It's right, Cup Capital Titan One Cup football is the, the first game at the Den as well. I don't know why it's not saying the Den, because I did type it in, I'm pretty sure. But, um, yeah, first game at the Den here against Bristol Rovers. Hopefully this should be a reasonably comfortable game, but I'm not going to say anything because that first game really could have been comfortable and it wasn't. We left it late to pull a winner like and let's picture. hope that we don't do that again let's see what here, we can do Alan, in this one. Four, four. oh my god they've literally spent 15 minutes just passing it around the fucking back the course, the i get we're the bigger team and stuff and they need to keep possession yeah, but come on move forward after, so, uh, a okay i've changed my mind don't move forward don't move forward don't move forward don't move forward do not move forward stop moving forward Oh my days, yes, oh bloody hell, I'm not sure who got the final knock away there, it still is not clear, Jesus Christ, that's shocking defending, Ford collects it though, maybe a counter attack, please, Phil Pot, let's see what you can do, nothing, you're 55 rated, what was I expecting, oh wow, we are getting outplayed and now they're going to start creating chances, how has he been allowed to walk inside, well tackled, Chesmain, Jack Powell sparking attack. Pass, That's a poor error, pass. Really. That's surely a foul. Red. Oh, Wait, this is man. just poor. We're playing really, Let's really go. poorly. They're inside. They deserve to score, and they do. Well, well, That's just it. poor. And it's Gaff Gaffney, I think that is. Gaffney. I'm not sure how you say that. But Bristol Rovers deservedly are leaving. We can, they've the dominated corner. us possession-wise. They've created chances. That is atrocious defending and somehow he's managed to blast that past David Ford. Rory Gaffney is now the first scorer the of one the Capital One Cup and deservedly so we have played terribly. Oh wow, come on. Romeo, save me please. Steve Morris. Come on. Powell. Jack Powell, great pass. Come on, carry that on. Morrison, great pass. Oh, what a finish. First shot on goal, and Jack Powell is the scorer of it. Jesus Christ. Never had to work so hard. What a pass from Morrison. I meant to pass to Romeo, but Morrison instead decides, you know what? Jack Powell's in a good position. Let's finish that. Keeper really should be saving that, to be fair. But that is Jack Powell's first goal for us in his first competitive appearance for us. It's 1-1. Somehow, we're back in this game. 
Oh, very nice play, Ed Upson. That's a great bit of strength. Morrison, can we spark something? Yes, Phil Potts for on goal. He's not very fast. He's not very talented. But can he score? No, he can't. No fucking way. You're kidding me. That's not gone into the back of the net. Phil Potts. That is atrocious. I know you're young. I know you're 55 rated. Well, there but there is the no bench. excuse for dragging it wide like that. And we didn't. He's probably going to strike this. That's a great strike. Bloody hell. That just drifted wide there. <laughs> and I just noticed at the top there it said they brought on Jermaine Easter. Jermaine Easter used to play for Mill. I actually miss Jermaine Easter. He used to be pretty decent. Oh, go on, Blake. Stop talking. There's a chance. Shut up and concentrate. Go on. Jack Powell. Carry on. Jack Powell, come on, get your second. They somehow got inside. Morrison, finish that. What a finish. Stephen Morrison making it even harder for me to choose a first team striker there. We're in the captain's armband, deservedly so, for his heroic deeds for Millwall over the years consistently. On his fourth spell, I believe this is now at Millwall. And look at that, Jack Powell does really well to make something of that. Cuts inside, lays it off. But what about that for a finish? touches it and in the oh, same stride finishes it on the opposite foot that is a fantastic finish from Morrison probably one of my favorite goals so far but of course that's just my opinion maybe I'm biased towards of course um, <laughs> Stephen Morrison he gets his first goal of the season and it's in the Capital One Cup which of course I guess he'll be a bit disappointed about but I am not disappointed at all. That is a fantastic goal, fantastic finish, and we've somehow taken the lead in this game. One goal lead. All right, let's just hold out, hold out. Oh no, that's poor. This is really poor. They could go on to score here. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh my God, that's a great finish as well. Straight away, they've come back and drawn it level that's a great uh, finish from Locker as well look at that this is poor defending all around really passes it to the edge and there's just no stopping a goal like that is there that's a fantastic finish Tom Locker or Lockyer well, producing that goal level and now it's level pegging Anything and looking like extras Maybe extra full time, time we are going to extra time with Bristol fucking Rovers we really should be walking these kind of games and we're not this has been a poor performance from the bench, to be honest. Morrison's played particularly well. Jack Plough's played well. I, I know they've both scored, and that sounds a bit biased. But they really are the only ones who have actually stepped up to the plate this game. Other than maybe Marlon Romeo, who I've actually been pretty happy with. We might as well use the subs. Ben Thompson, come on. You can do something. You've got that kind of style to you. Uh, Aiden O'Brien can come on up front. And we will bring on Chris Taylor to finish this game off. And hopefully... Them changes should hopefully just win us the game. Let's see if we can produce a third goal and win this in extras. Lead bitter. Whips it in. Bloody hell! Oh, I'm not liking how much pressure they're putting on us. Come on. The counter-attack may be of dreams. If Morrison could find this pass, which he has all my days, Aiden O'Brien, through on goal. Surely! Yes! Oh, thank fuck for that. Aiden O'Brien has scored Morrison with the assist. No surprise whatsoever. Oh my god, we pulled it back. We've somehow managed to get the lead. That literally came down to the pass. If Morrison produced the pass, it was going in regardless. And that was a fantastic pass from Morrison. And Aiden O'Brien keeps cool under pressure. And the youngster has produced his first goal of the tournament of the Capital One Cup of Millwall's career mode to be fair and that could be a costly one we're gonna park the bus now like oh, Chelsea and defender. hope that they don't score like they're on and the, the attack to do now. now well done no Romeo oh. this is tense moments at the end of this game I'm waiting for the final whistle there it is oh my god that was way too much drama for the first round of the capital one cup but regardless we have won in extra time ford really the hero there making that last minute save to keep us in the lead it is aiden o'brien who scored in extra time to get us the winner but morrison with a goal and an assist and he's played fantastically well and um, we have progressed to the second round of the capital one cup we have won 2-1 2-1, 3-2 I can't even pay attention and the man of the match, deservedly so for Morrison a goal and two assists he got two assists he played brilliantly there 
fighting for his first place spot. Uh, final scout report on Dummett. Finally, 69 rated. So we're looking at roughly a similar rating. Uh, we've had a player accepted, and it is Jordan Lukaku. Two mil. If we can seal the deal for Jordan Lukaku, that will be one of my favourite signings. What do you mean we don't have the money to sign him? Oh, don't do that. Do we not? Do we seriously not? No, I swear we do. Fuck off. We've got enough to sort out the wages for now. We'll deal with the cash when it comes. Oh, If we can't sign him, I am going to be devastated because he's a fantastic player, Jordan Lukaku. We need more funds. Maybe players will have to be sacrificed if offers come in for him. Dummett has declined, and on what grounds? He is too prestigious. Oh my god! Everyone thinks they're so prestigious, man. You all think he's so sick. I've been pretty good lately, and I want to play. No, you will definitely play in the next league game, don't worry. But you guys will have to wait until the next episode to see the rest of them. We will start doing three games an episode after this one. But I just wanted to get the first two out of the way. We got two wins out of two. Played fantastically well. Giving me some stuff to think about um, in terms of team-wise. Morrison's definitely giving himself a shout to compete for the first team spot with Naki Wells. And Lee Gregory. But that is going to end the third episode. Again, if we can hit five likes, that would be amazing. Be sure to subscribe for daily content. I forgot to mention that in the first two episodes. This will be daily content. Maybe not career mode every day because I imagine that would get boring. But we will see what we can do. Let me know what you guys want to see in this career mode in the rest of this channel. Any game you'd like to see, I'm more than happy to do it. So let's see what happens. Next game will be taking on Doncaster. And I can't wait to see what happens. So I will see you guys next time. Peace.